Okay, here's my output bell. I have... It goes all the way around here. And here's a good time to check power. And I'm actually good right now, somehow. So, I'm just gonna do that. The sorting machines may take a lot of power, though. I'm not sure what the modded stuff is gonna be like. Also, I can probably deconstruct this, because... I don't need this anymore. I'm already now producing red and green science, just naturally. So, or like, or not naturally, but you know, from the bus. So, oh, it looks like I disconnected the rest of the electric network, so I still need to do that. And with that spare iron, I can actually put it in here so I can get more ammo. And I can grab whatever ammo is in, is in here. One thing I probably should go for at this point is a junk chest. I can place it kind of... In a, in a place where nothing else is going to really go anywhere. Um, like, you can see here, there's no... It's going to be really hard to get a belt or anything in that square. So, I'll do that. I will place um, all of my Stratch Knight. These are different. This is Carfetium, then here's Stratch Knight. Um, I can also place just my Iron Ore in, like, here. Um, and I can... Place my burner mining drills in here. I don't need that anymore. And and maybe some of my wood, like all but a little bit of it. And that nearly fills up the chest. So there's that. I probably should also try to get steel on the belt. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to I think it's going to go. Yeah, it's going to go in, in one of these. I'll probably put it in the top one. Um, so yeah, that will... Require, again, a big, long belt, but, um, that, that's okay. I'm just gonna get it, I'm gonna kind of weave it through. Actually, what I can do is I, I'm gonna use underground belts as well. So, it's weird, but you can actually un use underground belts to go underwater. So, it's a cool little feature that I just wanted to note, and... Just so I can, because there's not a lot of space here, and that's probably going to be reserved for more iron. So, I, I want to just do this instead. And this will, also, it's, the steel is going to go below the copper, so no reason to do it like this. And I need to go through these stones. The stones are so annoying, this game. But I know there are researches in Factorio++ that increase your mining speed, which could be a godsend. Um... Because, I mean, there will be other ways in the future to, to like, instead of mining, um, there will be other ways to destroy stuff, but still, just, the stones always are annoying, no matter what. And this is how you use nearly a thousand belts, because I'm now down to only 134 belts after having basically a thousand. So... You can see now this research is almost finished. It does take a while. I can check my science for a minute in here by going in here. Right now I'm making 23 red science per minute and only 8 green science per minute. That's not great. Seeing only 8 green science per minute. Um, because I know in other saves, like, it's usually like some of the later sciences I can get less of. It's because I'm struggling on inserters. Um, is it just, oh, I'm out of iron gears, that's why. So, that that tells me that I should be maybe making more iron gears. The thing is that this iron supply is low, so it's really the iron supply. Which means I probably should try to put some more mining drills down. Um, I will just be crafting a whole bunch more of these as I get more iron. I, I even need green circuits for some of these, so I will... Um, I don't need to do it like this. I can probably just grab the green circuits right off the belt. And here is the research. Research sorting. So, this is big. Now I'm going to go back to the military science. And let's see. So, what I need, I need, um, all of this. I'm probably going to need more iron. I probably would, okay. What I'm going to do here is just do this so I can build a few sorting mach machines. I'm going to build ten of them. And... This what this should do is this should filter it into um, copper and iron. So that that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna use these belts. Um, I'll, I'll mine this rock, the Carpetium rock. And, oh, okay, first I need to place the mining drills down. Because I will want to, again, um, use this up as quickly as possible because it's blocking my bus. Okay, this research is not finished. The first thing I'm going to do, okay, I cannot research combat drones. I need military science. So instead, I will get something else. I'll get landfill. This will be very useful because it's also water blocking my bus. So, yeah, I'm also going to need to chop down some more trees using this. I almost destroyed my electric pole. It wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world if I, if I got destroyed, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to place them like this. Um, I'm, I'm probably going overkill here, but this, I'm guessing it's going to be my main ore supply once I get this all finished. Um, so there we go. And I think it's more important to get the sorting going. So this is 124 kilowatts. It's kind of a lot, but I don't think that's that much. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it like this. Just do five, and I'm not sure how much this is going to really do per second. Um, like, let's see what it even does. It does, it says crafting speed 0 0.8, so it's probably a craft I can do. Like, it's the carbon ferret. It takes one and a half seconds. That times 0 0.8, or actually that times 1 over 0 0.8. Well, 0 0.8 is 4 fifths, so it'll take 5 fourths that amount of time. Which means it'll take almost two seconds, 1.875 seconds, which is kind of a um, complicated number there, but that's what I'll, I'll do. So what I'm going to do here, I will get this all um, up here. I will want to bring some electric poles this way just so I can actually power this all up and... Here we go. So, um, I will also want to. I need an output for this. So, this is where, again, um, this will go. I'm not exactly sure how many of these I will be using, but it'll be something. So, um, I'm going to do this. We'll also do it on the left side. And it's going to. I think it's just 50% chance for which is which. That's what I seem to be getting. So. In that case, I can just do this. This will allow me to... Um, okay, I need to do this first. Um, and... You can see... Yeah, it's half iron, half copper. So, I will eventually need to use filter splitters, or just a feature of splitters. Um, but I think what I first want to do is... I can only craft nine belts. That's it. Um, but what I'm just gonna do at this point, I'm gonna use all the belts. I'm gonna get it up to the um, this rock, and this is where I'll use the filters um, feature of the splitters to. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, it's ha you can see it's half iron and half copper. This means that if I do use a filter splitter like this, or I, I can use a splitter, I can filter this, which means I can do um, iron ore on one side, so let's say, okay, left iron ore, um, that means copper, all copper ore will go on the right, so I will do um, the same with this, or maybe I can just do inside, outside, like this, I don't know, um, because this means iron ore will all go on one side, copper ore will go on the other. I do already sense a problem with this because um, if there's too much of one resource, that um, that means that I, the other resource won't happen. So that will be a logistical challenge. I think I will have to face eventually. But we'll just we'll just get there when when the, when the time comes for that. Hopefully, I, I can keep it flowing. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. Um, I said, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do this and do this 
just merge both of the merge um, both iron and copper into just one thing. I don't think I really need to do that, but at least it looks nice. Okay, that's a very terrible that's a terrible excuse, but okay. Um, and the copper will go here. Um, it'll go on the right side, while the iron will go on the left. Except I'm one belt short. Yay! I okay. I'll, I'll fix that. Okay, I saved a bunch of belts here. I don't know why there's some copper on the left side of this belt. That's very bad. Because the copper is only supposed to go on the right side. There's also some copper on the left side of the belt over here. So I need to just grab that before it does any further damage. So I've gotten a, a few more belts. I'm going to place... I'm actually going to move the belt over to the right side here. This will allow me to... Um, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna the output bet will be right here, and this will be for iron because I'm gonna build a little contraption that will allow me to essentially separate the two. So what I'm gonna do first, I first just want to get this under the coal belt, and what I can do is I think I can um, do this. Actually, I should probably place it on the right here. Um, one of these will be, essentially, um, this is going to separate the two halves. And also, I got this research finished, so I can do something else. I'm not exactly sure what I want to research at this point. may want to radar efficiency from Big Brother, or actually weapon shooting speed one may be a little better. Because that's going to, yeah, that's going to... Give me more powerful military stuff. So I'll, I'll get that going. And yeah, what I, essentially what I'm doing, this is a way you can um, take stuff from one half of the belt and put it on a, just one half of another belt. And I know this is not the most efficient design ever, but it's, it's something. It, it, it at least works. So I think that's what matters. And what this is, this splitter is going to do is it's going to get it on both halves of the belt. So maybe eventually I will be using two belts of this, but that's for a later time. Um, I think at this point it's just more important that I can get it going like this. So this right, I'm not exactly sure which belt is going to be iron, which belt is going to be copper. That is pretty important to note. So yeah, I want to. Just see which way is going to go which. So it looks like the right belt, you know, the left belt is going to be iron. The right belt is going to be copper. So you can see how I'm splitting it this way. And the iron belt is this one. The um, So essentially, I think I can just do this. And um, with copper, I can... Um, not a lot of ways to just spaghetti it through, so... Instead, I will just move it all the way out to the right, and, um, and no, not, not like this. Just wanna, okay, I, I'll go above the cliff, not below. Perfect, and I can use a splitter to merge it. And actually, I want to get rid of the cut run ferret ore, so what I'm going to do, my input priority will be set to right. This means that it'll be prioritizing the copper that comes from the cut run ferret ore over other copper. I will do a similar thing for iron. So again, um, input priority right. This means that the iron that comes from copper will be prioritized over other iron. So this will increase my production of iron and copper, which will definitely help with science production. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff done this episode. It might have been pretty long, but at least I got to use modded ores for the first time. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.